In functional analysis, a branch of mathematics, a compact operator is a linear operator L from a Banach space X to another Banach space Y, such that the image under L of any bounded subset of X is a relatively compact subset has compact closure of Y such an operator is necessarily a bounded operator, and so continuous, any bounded operator L that has finite rank is a compact operator, indeed, the class of compact operator as a natural generalization of the class of finite rank operators in an infinite dimensional setting. When Y is a Hilbert space, it is true that any compact operator is a limit of finite rank operators, so that the class of compact operators can be defined alternatively as the closure of the set of finite rank operators in the norm topology. Whether this was true in general for Banach spaces, the approximation property was an unsolved question for many years. In 1973, Per and Flo gave a counterexample. The origin of the theory of compact operators is in the theory of integral equations, where integral operators supply concrete examples of such operators. A typical Fredholm integral equation gives rise to a compact operator K on function spaces. The compactness property is shown by equicontinuity. The method of approximation by finite rank operators is basic in the numerical solution of such equations. The abstract idea of Fredholm operator is derived from this connection. Topic. Equivalent formulations Let X and Y be normed spaces and T, X, Y a linear operator. Then the following statements are equivalent. The image of the unit ball of X under T is relatively compact in Y. The image of any bounded subset of X under T is relatively compact in Y. There exists a neighborhood U of zero in X and a compact subset V Y display style V subset X Y such that T U V display style T U subset X V for any bounded sequence X N N element of n display style x underscore n underscore n in math b n in x the sequence t x n n element of n display style t x underscore n underscore n in math b n contains a converging subsequence, if in addition y is Banach, these statements are also equivalent to the image of any bounded subset of x under t is totally bounded in y if a linear operator is compact, then it is easy to see that it is bounded, and hence continuous. Topic. Important properties In the following, x, y, z, w are Banach spaces, b, x, y is the space of bounded operators from x to y with the operator norm, k, x, y is the space of compact operators from x to y, b, x. Topic. b, x, x, k, x. K X X I D X display style it underscore X is the identity operator on X. K X Y is a closed subspace of B X Y. Let T N an element of N be a sequence of compact operators from one Banach space to the other, and suppose that T N converges to T with respect to the operator norm. Then T is also compact. Conversely, if X Y are Hilbert spaces, then every compact operator from X to Y is the limit of finite rank operators. 
Notably, this is false for general Banach spaces X and Y. B Y Z K X Y B W X K W Z Display style B, Y, Z, circ K, X, Y, circ B, W, X, subset K, W, Z. In particular, K, X forms a two sided ideal in B, X, I, D, X, display style it underscore X is compact if and only if X has finite dimension. For any T element of K X I D X minus T displaystyle it underscore X T is a Fredholm operator of index zero. In particular, I M I D X minus T display style operator name I M id underscore X T is closed. This is essential in developing the spectral properties of compact operators. One can notice the similarity between this property and the fact that if M and N are subspaces of a Banach space where M is closed and N is finite dimensional, then M plus N is also closed. Any compact operator is strictly singular, but not vice versa. An operator is compact if and only if its adjoint is compact. Schauder's theorem. Topic: Origins in integral equation theory. A crucial property of compact operators is the Fredholm alternative, which asserts that the existence of solution of linear equations of the form lambda k plus i u equals f display style lambda k plus i u equals f where k is a compact operator, f is a given function, and u is the unknown function to be solved for behaves much like as in finite dimensions. The spectral theory of compact operators then follows, and it is due to Frigeis-Reis 1918. It shows that a compact operator k on an infinite dimensional Banach space has spectrum that is either a finite subset of C which includes zero, or the spectrum is a countably infinite subset of C which has zero as its only limit point. Moreover, in either case the non-zero elements of the spectrum are eigenvalues of k with finite multiplicities so that k minus lambda i has a finite dimensional kernel for all complex lambda does not equal zero. An important example of a compact operator is compact embedding of Sobolev spaces, which, along with the guarding inequality and the lax milgram theorem, can be used to convert an elliptic boundary value problem into a Fredholm integral equation. Existence of the solution and spectral properties then follow from the theory of compact operators, in particular, an elliptic boundary value problem on a bounded domain has infinitely many isolated eigenvalues. One consequence is that a solid body can vibrate only at isolated frequencies, given by the eigenvalues, and arbitrarily high vibration frequencies always exist. The compact operators from a Banach space to itself form a two-sided ideal in the algebra of all bounded operators on the space. Indeed, the compact operators on an infinite dimensional separable Hilbert space form a maximal ideal, so the quotient algebra, known as the Cochin algebra, is simple. More generally, the compact operators form an operator ideal. Topic. Compact operator on Hilbert spaces 
For Hilbert spaces, another equivalent definition of compact operators is given as follows. An operator T display style T on an infinite dimensional Hilbert space H display style math call H T H H display style T math call H2 math call H is said to be compact if it can be written in the form T equals n equals 1 infinity lambda n f n g n display style t equals sum underscore n equals 1 caret in a t lambda underscore n langle f underscore n c d o t wrangle g underscore n where f one f two display style f underscore one f underscore two l dots and g one g two display style g underscore one g underscore two l dots are orthonormal sets not necessarily complete and lambda 1 lambda 2 display style lambda underscore 1 lambda underscore 2 l dots is a sequence of positive numbers with limit 0 call the singular values of the operator the singular values can accumulate only at 0 if the sequence becomes stationary at zero, that is lambda n plus k equals zero. Display style lambda underscore n plus k equals zero. For some n element of n display style n in math b n and every k equals 1 2 display style k equals 1 2 dots then the operator has finite rank ie a finite dimensional range and can be written as t equals n equals 1 n lambda n f n g n display style t equals sum underscore n equals 1 caret n lambda underscore n langle f underscore n c d o t wrangle g underscore n the bracket display style langle c d o t c d o t wrangle is the scalar product on the Hilbert space. The sum on the right hand side converges in the operator norm. An important subclass of compact operators is the trace class or nuclear operators. Topic. Completely continuous operators Let X and Y be Banach spaces. A bounded linear operator T, XY is called completely continuous if, for every weakly convergent sequence, X N X underscore N from X, the sequence T x n display style tx underscore n is norm convergent in y conway 1985 section v.3 compact operators on a banach space are always completely continuous 
If X is a reflexive Banach space, then every completely continuous operator T, XY is compact. Somewhat confusingly, compact operators are sometimes referred to as completely continuous in older literature, even though they are not necessarily completely continuous by the lights of today's terminology. Topic. Examples Every finite rank operator is compact. For P display style L caret P and a sequence Tn converging to zero, the multiplication operator Tx n equals Tn x n is compact. For some fixed G element of C 0, 1, R, define the linear operator T from C 0, 1, R to C 0, 1, R by T F X equals 0 X F T G T D T display style T F X equals int underscore zero carrot X F T G T mathrm D T that the operator T is indeed compact follows from the Ascoli theorem. More generally, if omega is any domain in R n and the integral kernel k omega times omega R as a Hilbert Schmidt kernel, then the operator T on L2 omega R defined by T F X equals omega K X Y F Y D Y Display style T F X equals int underscore omega K X Y F Y Mathem D Y is a compact operator. By Reese's lemma, the identity operator is a compact operator if and only if the space is finite dimensional. Topic See also Spectral theory of compact operators Fredholm operator Fredholm integral equations Fredholm alternative Compact embedding Strictly singular operator Notes <laughs>